much for the views that I've been getting over the past two weeks. The last video I did on I went to Somaliland, really, it's it's so impressive. I've gotten more subscriptions, I've gotten more views, and now I even have my own URL for my channel, which I will put in the description below. So thank you so much. Let's learn together. If you have story ideas that you think I should cover, please let me know. I changed my channel's name from Nelly Oteki to Nelly's Shorts, and this is because every story that i do every video that i do is as good as a full story but it's short so it's nearly shorts not not shorts but i keep shorts anyway and they're mine so it's nearly shorts still so just go on youtube please and look for nearly's shorts and subscribe the reason why i'm doing a video today it's because i have not explained what i do I mean, yeah, you've seen me going to Turkana, going to Somaliland, going to Nakuru. But what's the point of going to all these places and what is SDGs? So SDGs in full is Sustainable Development Goals. This is a UN initiative. And under the Sustainable Development Goals, we have 17 goals, 169 targets, 229 indicators. And all the shots that I'll be doing will be around this so what are the 17 sustainable development goals hey baby so what are these 17 sustainable development goals that i'm going to talk about well there is poverty there's health there's hunger there's education there's gender equality how should women begin for their salaries women have special needs whether we like it or not they have to breastfeed. Should the economy give some sort of leniency to them? Should the economy give them more time to breastfeed? Because if you breastfeed, it means your child will be healthy, which means you have more time to work, which means you're productive, which means the GDP of a country increases. Really, it's more of a chain reaction. Not enough. Water, sustainable energy, sustainable economy, sustainable industrialization, Reduce inequality, inclusive cities. Like where are bicycle lanes? I've seen bicycle lanes in Nakuru or somewhere in Nairobi, and usually pedestrians are there. Or people have started selling. Yes, baby. Simply put, this is what it is. We need bicycle lanes. How many watchmen in Kenya use bicycles to and from work? And still, they don't have bicycle lanes. Yeah, well, we do have bicycle lanes, but we've we've set up markets. On those bicycle lanes. I was I was in Turka, I was in Nakuru once and there was this lady who was selling tomatoes on a bicycle lane. If you're going to reduce the amount of um, CO2 produced by cars, why cannot we have bicycle lanes? Do we have proper roads? Do we have roads that are built for people, not cars? I once went to Europe and as soon as I was driving out of Amsterdam, well onto the highway, it was so quiet and i was wondering where is everybody why is nobody selling clothes or fruits on the roads i mean what do people do when they when they're hungry <laughs> or they need to to thrift shop one of my favorite things ever invented what do people do it's because the roads are actually built in a way that they protect people sustainable consumption and production patterns after this i'm going to an event where there'll be the whole event is based on uh, swapping clothes there's just too many clothes in our closets and we have to go for the next when the textile industry collapsed in Kenya it did one of the reasons why it collapsed is the cost of production in Kenya is so high and that's why some of the clothes produced in Kenya are actually quite expensive because they have to recover the money that's why Mtumba second hand thrift shopping is still king in Kenya well, I mean, thanks to other designers and other shops coming in, like the, the two or three shops I saw in the new mall, Two Rivers, that uh, that's my pressure cooker. So we wait until it's done. Done. Okay, so there are two shops in Two Rivers that I think are going to give Mtumba a run for the money because they are new and fairly affordable. Let's say eight euro... $8, I'm at 800 bob. Urgent action on climate change. Conserve sea and marine resources. 
another thing is about fisheries the other day i went to baringo and i was, I was talking to fishermen on how much they fish what's the size of their fishing net because if the size of a fishing net is the size of a mosquito net it means you can even harvest fingerlings which means we're not going to have fish by 2030 protect environment and biodiversity and you remember i showed you about conservation i don't think any organization has watched my video because they could have asked then i could have redirected them to where actually the hippo tooth was do a lot of civic education but these are the things that i know maybe a hippopotamus trade is going to be a story let's say five years from now because this story has not been pushed out there that's why it's important to share if you care about conservation inclusive societies and strengthen global partnerships another thing that most people don't know is i did not just start doing sustainable development goals videos last month this is something that i've been working on for i think five years i did most of the research when i was pregnant with my child my first child my only child that was back in 2012 and i spoke to several production houses but somehow this project was just not going to go through and i decided well maybe it's better i kill my darling you know when you love something so much but you feel like it's not going anywhere despite the amount of effort that you're doing so you decide to kill your darling so don't forget to say the speed it, oh don't have so i've been told to not to forget to say it's a speed motorbike, speed motorbike. okay can I now take like five minutes? I finish? Yeah. Okay. Like most of the projects in production, really, the first, the second, the third don't work. And I was not going to let go the project that I've been working for five years. And instead of stopping this project completely, I started Nelly's Shots. So you're part of my five year sweat, actually six years now sweat. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Because your contribution eventually is going to be used in making policies on how to make uh, better education systems in Kenya. Some of the information that I'm generating from this or your opinion, that's the comment section is yours. Contribute to this. It's going to be used probably by organizations on how, many, how much energy do we need. What is the best renewable energy for different counties in Kenya? For example, I showed you in Turukana is very, very windy. Coast was very, very hot. I'm not mentioning that. Okay. Sustainable development goals is quite a, a tricky subject because it involves a lot of economics. It's not my favorite topic, but I'm a human being who needs a better world. So economics, I had to learn. There was a time that Bloomberg, um, Bloomberg was offering scholarships to a few students from Kenya, Nigeria and South Africa to learn on financial journalism. I applied, I got in and I learned on how to talk financially to people. But my point is not to talk economic lingo. My point is to show you why a mother would charge 50 bob for a mango instead of 30 shillings. My job is to break down scientific information to layman language. I feel like I'm doing a service to my nation, to my earth, for offering this information as a journalist. And I hope you can use bits and bits of the information that I'm sharing. Correct me when you see that I'm bluffing. And let's just let's just have a cool world. Really, it's it's all I care about. The prettiest part of Nelly's shot will be a touch of Nelly. So please subscribe, share my stories. My shots would make these things all simple. So please subscribe because I will have something every Monday for you. Without failing, promise. I've not failed. I mean, I've, I've been doing this for a month now and I'm quite excited that I get to give you something Mom. every Monday. Mom. Yes. Oh, wow, you look very fancy. Your pink sun is. See you on Monday.